to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make Dutch cabbage. Um, this is something that my Oma would make with all of her roast beef and um, with her roast chickens, any roast actually. It's a really fabulous side and it's so savory and it just, it reminds me of my childhood. So we're gonna start with, um, we have red cabbage. I have some red wine, red wine vinegar, cinnamon, cloves, salt and pepper. And in my Dutch oven, I have three tablespoons of butter that I have heating up. So let's start with the cabbage. I've already halved it and chopped some, but you're gonna take out the core right there. And then we're gonna split the cabbage one more time in half. And then we're gonna take very even slim slices until the cabbage is all done. Go. Okay, we'll come back when I have it all finished. Okay, it's time to start adding the cabbage. So we're just going to take some handfuls and drop it in. There we go. And let's stir that up. I've got the temperature on medium high to start with. And then we're going to add the rest of the cabbage on top. All right. Now this pot's going to be nice and full. And it will simmer down. There we go. And I'm, I'm filming this myself, so I'm trying to keep nice and steady. There we go. Let's fill it right up. Perfect. Okay. Now the next step is we're going to add the red wine. Now I'm going to use this one today. Look at that cute little bottle. Okay, there's 200 mils in this. So we're going to use probably two thirds of it, maybe a little bit more. There we go. We've only left that much in the bottle. And then the next step is we're going to add the red wine vinegar. I'm going to put you down just for a second. There we go. Okay, red wine vinegar, we're going to use about two tablespoons. So there's one and two. Now to this mix, we're also going to add cinnamon. So I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. And always, when it's already finished and cooked, you can taste it and add whatever else you need to taste uh, put to it. So let's get a half a teaspoon here. And we're going to sprinkle that right on top. And then we're going to do some nutmeg. Now the nutmeg, I'm going to use about a quarter teaspoon. There we go. Toss that right in there. And we're going to do a pinch of salt. Not too much salt. Wonderful. All right, let's try and stir that around. And when we have that stirred all up, we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about a half an hour and then we'll come right back. Okay, so she has been simmering for half an hour and now I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar and I'm gonna add some pepper and we're gonna stir it again. Make sure nothing is burning on the bottom. You wanna see that liquid starting to form. So we'll stir that up and then we're gonna cover it again for, oh, I'm baking buns too. <laughs> so we're gonna cover that up and leave it for another half hour and we'll come right back. Okay, so it's all done. I added another half a teaspoon, a uh, tablespoon, sorry, of sugar. And I also added a half a cup of water so it could simmer down because there wasn't a lot of juice at the bottom, but it smells so incredible. I have to take a piece. Mmm. It's just like being at Oma's house. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.